But for this week on Cyber School, we're going to be talking about polycom paging and multicast, specifically regarding around, of course, one of the last features that I haven't touched on, the big update that we did for the paging server, but also just with the popularity of poly, formerly polycom phones, in the wider telecom industry, it can be super helpful for us to just have a quick little video that explains what polycom paging is and how you can set it up on our different equipment. So with that, Polycom paging is kind of a proprietary style protocol that's based on multicast and calling it a protocol, you know, all of my, uh, you know, networking professors are kind of, you know, I would say, you know, the, the common adage is turning over in their grave, but none of them are dead. So, you know, I don't know, they're turning around in their office chairs or something, but um, it's for lack of a better term, we can call it a protocol, but um, it's basically the way that, you know, um, polyphones handle paging through their different endpoints and kind of the end industry standard uh, with basically every other product out there um, that isn't, you know, a proprietary notification service um, is going to use standard multicast. And Polycom is a little bit different, and they do everything with a little bit of proprietary special sauce on top, which can make it a little bit complicated to use Polycom equipment in addition to, say, other phone brands like Yealink or Grandstream or Snom or what have you, and in addition with other IP peripherals. Um, thankfully, Cyberdata has been really proactive in supporting Polycom paging, so our stuff is really easy to use with Polycom paging, but it can get very complicated when you're dealing with polyphones as compared to other equipment in the industry that is very, very simple to work with. So let's talk about it in a little bit more specifics. You know, how is this different? Well, first, to understand how it's different, you got to understand what standard multicast is. And standard multicast is, is just going to use a standard multicast address and port, and that's used in basically a one-to-one -one ratio. So for every multicast group you're going to have, it's going to have a unique address and port combination. So that way, if you've got multiple groups, you're always going to have multiple addresses and multiple ports. And again, these are multicast addresses. We've done very long sessions on what multicast is and the actual port um, addresses and everything that are used. Um, there's lots of content out there for that. And that's kind of outside of the scope of what we're talking about today. But what Poly does, instead of using that kind of um, break of a unique address and port combination for each group, they break it up into what they call a, a channel. And that's their kind of proprietary special sauce that they put on top of standard traditional multicast. And with these different channels that they support, there are 25 total of them. Basically, 1 through 23 are essentially your regular channels. And then you've got channel 24 and channel 25, which are your priority and emergency style channels or groups for you know another term that you could utilize um, to kind of break everything up. And each phone, each Polycom endpoint um, can only be in three of those particular 25 channels. Um, and the way that they're different, again, to compare it to standard multicast, where each group is going to be a unique address and port combination, Polycom phones use the same address and port combo for all of the different, quote, channels that the phones can be in. And they break it up with basically this little proprietary, as they call a preamble, that is sent by the phone to actually go and tell the receiving device, hey, this multicast stream that is on the same address and port that all of the other multicast streams are is a channel one um, page or a channel 24 or channel 25 page. And the other odd thing that they do is they use an odd port for their multicast where the, the industry standard as defined by RFCs, basically the rules for you know setting up different stuff that is sent out across the network is supposed to be an even port. Well, Polycom uses an odd port, which is, quote, fine. They're breaking the rules with it. Um, and, uh, you know, it just it complicates things when you're pulling in different vendors and different style of equipment. So why does any of this matter? So when you're using multiple different manufacturers together, it can get super complicated because say if you're trying to use, you know, say some Polycom phones in one area and you get some newer Yealink phones, well, those two won't always play nice together because the Yealink phones have to support the proprietariness of those Polycom phones. So using multiple brands together can be a big complication because not all of those other phone manufacturers are going to support Polycom style multicast. So that could totally break. Say, for example, if you get, you know, say a Grandstream or Snom or, you know, what have you, one of the multitude of different, you know, um, phone manufacturers out there, if you try to mix those with Polycom phones, it's dependent on those, you know, 
third party phones that you're getting actually supporting the polycom equipment. Then in just dealing with um, multicast in general, because they do everything differently, that creates things, it, it makes things very, very complicated because the Polycom phones have a much more restricted capability to be in different groups as compared to almost every other style of telecom equipment that's always in 10 groups. Polyphones are only in three. So, you know, three is much, much smaller than, than 10. So you get a lot less grouping capability when you're dealing with Polycom phones, which can really kind of restrict some paging capability for some of the super users that are actually using a lot of different poly, um, multicast paging style channels that you could use, which can make some other brands more advantageous as compared to Polyphones. So now that we've kind of covered what multicast is, what polycom paging is, and some of the challenges with it. How does this how does this relate to cyber data? So all of our endpoints, whether they're um, sending or receiving style devices, will support polycom paging in some sort or fashion. When you're dealing with our receiving endpoints, so things like our speakers, our um, paging amplifier that can interface, or, or excuse me, our paging adapter that can interface with um, you know, analog amplifiers, those two words kind of blend together sometimes. Um, they're all going to support three different polycom channels, essentially equivalent to a standard polyphone. So that way you can kind of replicate the same functionality. If you've got polyphone throughout your entire facility, you can replicate that on our receiving devices. And if you use a product like our SIP paging server with the most recent update, version 21, um, it's available for the majority of you know paging servers out there and any new paging servers you were to purchase today, um, they're gonna, you're gonna be able to page to any polycom channel. So with the different page groups that you have built into the paging server in the little drop down configuration menu that you can get, you can select a particular polycom channel for one of our different page groups, which technically allows the paging server to page to all 25 polycom channels, which is better than what a polycom phone can do. So it's really, really cool and gives you a lot of functionality to be able to page and work in a polycom phone ecosystem. The paging server and any of our other sending style devices, so of course, things like say your call button, our multicast microphone, what have you, um, you do have to opt into Polycom paging mode, and that's a specific box that you have to check on our device tab to basically allow the device to break the rule to work in the Polycom um, paging environment, because of course, Polycom phones transmit on an odd port, and that breaks the RFC rule where you can only transmit on even ports. So you have to opt in to basically rule breaking to use that that, um, polycom paging mode. And of course, one of the things that changed recently with polycom paging is they've switched over to G722 for the traditional codec that they'll use. That's kind of the default codec. We don't really support that. We would instead recommend that you use G711 PCMU as it gives a better audio quality as compared to G722. So now that we've kind of covered all that, let's talk a bit about setting everything up. You know, it's all well and good to say, oh, my stuff supports it, but how do you set the blasted thing up? So when you're dealing with any of our products, for example, I've got one of our VoIP speakers pulled up here. You go to the multicast tab. And on the multicast tab, you'll get our priority matrix here of the different um, multicast address and port combinations, effectively your multi groups that the device can coincide with. And you'll see there at priority eight down there at the bottom, we've got it configured for poly paging. You can see the default address and port, as well as the nice little label that I put in there. So it's readable by humans that that is the poly paging group. And the checkbox that we have there is we have it set to beep. So basically what you want to do is you want to set the Polycom multicast address and port combination. And don't just take my default there for granted. It may be different on your phones or depending on the provider that you're getting your phones provisioned from, they may change this address. So definitely check with your equipment to verify the particular address and port combination. But once you have that from your specific phones, you'll want to pick a priority that you can put it in on the cyber data devices. And our priorities work in a priority or a hierarchical system where nine is highest priority and zero is lowest priority. And higher priorities were will always play over lower priority. So with priority number eight there, I have it set as basically almost the highest priority and emergency level announcement at priority level nine will play over a standard traditional polycom page, but it will 
allow us to have control over the volume. Where here at Cyberdata, we deem that any priority level nine, which is what we call emergency, will always play at maximum volume regardless of how you have it configured because we at Cyberdata deem that used for emergency. So when it's an emergency, you wanna make sure you get that notification out so it will always play at maximum volume regardless of how the device is configured. If you want control over your volume, use priority eight and below. As such, I have the Polycom paging group set to channel number, or excuse me, priority number eight there. Then after you do that, you wanna select your particular desired Polycom channels. By default, as all Polycom phones ship in, and what our devices ship in, in terms of Polycom support, is gonna be channel one for your default channel. That's your regular non-emergency style, your priority, which is channel 24, and emergency for channel 25. And that's again, all through that kind of Polycom paging style um, ecosystem. And this is how you would set up one of our receiving style devices. When you're setting up the paging server or one of our sending devices, of course, as I mentioned, you have to opt in to the Polycom paging mode. And that setting is just gonna be a checkbox on our device tab, and it'll be similar to the rest of the products that can send stuff. Again, stuff like our call button and our multicast microphone. And when you opt into it, what it's actually doing is it has the device transmit on whatever the configured port is plus one, we still won't allow you to say in the example of the screenshot that I have set here, to set that port to 5001, that's a no-no, that's against the rules, but if you enable Polycom paging mode, it will take that configured port 5000 and transmit on 5000 plus one, 5001, which is the default port used by all of the Polycom phones. It's a little confusing, but it makes sense after you play with it and after you use it. And then after you've gone and you've configured the address and port combination, so that way we will actually multicast at the Polycom phones where they're expecting to um, listen for that particular traffic, you have to select the Polycom transmit channel that you'll see down there at the bottom of our pop-up window. And with that, you can just use the little drop-down um, uh, window there that'll appear and pick one of the 25 different channels um, to be able to page on. And once you do that, you hit save and the paging server is ready to go. It's pretty easy to go and set up all of that style of configuration. So finally, to summarize everything, all cyber data equipment across the board is gonna support Polycom paging in some form or fashion, whether it's just receiving it or sending to it or both in some scenarios. That makes cyber data equipment really, really good and super powerful for Polycom style environments. All of our receiving devices are gonna be able to be put in three different channels, so that way they can replicate the same functionality of an existing Polycom phone. It'll be just like the rest of the phones that you can, you can configure in terms of the group capability. And when you're dealing with our equipment and Polycom style pages and announcements, we really do recommend using G711 PCMU for the actual audio codec. We find that it performs a little bit better and it gives you a higher audio quality than you can get with something like G722. And when you're dealing with a large scale Polycom paging environment, it might be really beneficial to be able to use something like our SIP paging server in that type of environment because we can page to all 25 different Polycom channels. So in a sense, and a good way to explain it is we can page to more channels than a traditional Polycom phone can. So in some sense, cyber data equipment can be better at Polycom paging than Polycom equipment. Thank you for watching this edition of CyberSchool. If you have any questions, please get in contact with our sales department. They are available by email at sales at cyberdata.net or by phone at 831-373-2601 extension 334. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this from CyberData.